So, the squat. What is going on guys? My name is Luke Baden. I am a kettlebell master trainer. Most people understand that a squat works a large area of the body. The prime movers are the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, a little bit the gastrox, but also pretty much the whole torso is working to stabilize the load. So I've got a kettlebell um, and I'm gonna put it into position. So first thing we need to do with the kettlebell is we need to get it on the chest. So we need to clean it. So uh, it's gonna be a two hands on one bell clean and that's gonna get us into what we call the front rack position. So I'm gonna show you that first. So lining up my malleolus, my ankle bones with the horns of the bell. So if you imagine a line between my malleolus, that is now lined up with the horns of the bell. I'm gonna take my little fingers and I'm gonna chop and drop at the hips. So this allows me to find my hip hinge position. From there, I grab the horns of the bell and the most important bit is I squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. From here, I'm gonna forcefully push the floor away. The kettlebell is gonna travel t-shirt tight to the body. It's gonna be traveling upwards. And as it is, my hands are gonna slide round and I'm gonna find the front rack position, okay? So then I'll be ready to goblet squat. Key points, I want my feet shoulder width, okay? Or maybe a bit greater. Toes can be pointed out 15 degrees if you need. And then from there, I'm using the horns of the bell to really squeeze the lats. So I'm packing the lats and I'm flattening my upper arm, my humerus bones to my body. So I'm not, there's no gap between the kettlebell and my body. So the force my legs generate can go straight into the kettlebell. So squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, really pack those lats, really flatten those arms to the body. From there, I rock back with the hips first. Then I start to bend the knees. I find a low squat, I keep the chest up, I keep the spine neutral, so I don't round through the back. And then I push the floor away and stand tall with an exhale. But inhale, weight into the heels, then into the knees, and then I drive up. So hips go first, and then into the knees, and drive up. So that's the kettlebell goblet squat. Common mistakes is not hitting depth on the squat. So that would be something like this, sitting back, not hitting that depth, and driving up. A good depth to aim for is to get the hip crease, the hip crease, which is here, to the same level as the midpoint of the knee, okay? So if I'm here, my hip crease is not the same height as the midpoint of my knee, but here it will be, or even lower. Keep going down until your back begins to round. Try not to let the back, back round too much, okay? Um, so that's the first common mistake. Next one is letting the knees cave in as we squat down. So we often use the coaching cue to grip and rip the floor. So I'm digging my feet into the floor and trying to rip the floor apart. That helps me send the knees outwards. So rep schemes for the goblet squat. Now, so I would shoot for anywhere between 12 to 15 reps on the goblet squat. You're gonna get a great burn in the legs, uh, you're gonna get a great burn in the glutes, and the torso is gonna be challenged holding that weight. If you're using this exercise as a finisher or you've got a high rep day, by all means go for those super high reps, uh, the 15 to 25 bracket, where we're working that muscular endurance and you're gonna get a real pump, a real burn on those quads. So that is a kettlebell goblet squat. I hope you found that video useful.